Hey guys, welcome to another NBA 2K18 My League rebuild. Today we are rebuilding the new look New York Knicks. So I just got home, saw that Carmelo Anthony was traded, had another My GM planned for today. But uh, if this video does well, I'll post it in the future. If not, I'll scrap it all together. Uh, it might be one of these said teams on screen right now next to the Knicks. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you don't, we're going to load up the 2018 NBA draft class that PC has. And we're going to take a look at these contracts now that Melo is no longer on the team. Melo was the biggest contract. And now Ennis Cantor is the biggest contract. Joe Kim Noah was actually... Wow, I thought, I thought Joe Kim Noah was getting paid like 20 plus million per year. So here we are at trade deadline. And we are making playoffs. As of right now, unless we get a huge injury, we're 32 wins, 23 losses at trade deadline of the February 8th. We're the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference with Art Carmelo Anthony. Take a look at the player stats, and we're also going to take a look at, uh, let me see. All right. Wow, we have so many players averaging double digits now that Carmelo Anthony is no longer on this team. This is actually kind of wild that we're looking to be a better team now without Carmelo Anthony. And this might be the case for the New York Knicks. They're a whole lot younger. They have more flexibility, especially once they're able to see if they can get rid of uh, Joe Kim. No, I was going to look at the con, not the conference. I was going to, oh yeah, last, last year's record, last year's standings. The Knicks only won. I don't think they won. They won 31 games total last year. Mind you, this is 2K. Not always accurate, but we already have 32 wins by trade deadline. That's absolutely crazy for the Knicks to do, especially last year when they only won 31. Let's hope the second half goes just as good. So here we are at the end of this first season. 46 wins, 35 losses. We made playoffs. As a fourth seed, possibly third seed. Honestly, I don't care if we win this. I wasn't even expecting us to make playoffs. And yeah, we get sweeped by the Bucks. We weren't even supposed to be there this year, but we ended up making it somehow. Hopefully next year we could be there, if not better. So we got we to gotta set our expectations super high now that we made playoffs. I wasn't expecting to make playoffs. Maybe that thing could actually happen in real life for the Knicks as the Cleveland Cavaliers win. So here we are at the NBA draft. This is where I like to do a lot of my trades considering teams uh, have free agents. They have cap to salary dump and we're going to try that. Uh, Courtney Lee's on the shopping block. Lance Thomas, Joakim Noah, and we also have the 20 and 28th pick. If we could somehow get a little bit higher in this draft class, get a top 12 pick, uh, that would do us amazing. So, uh, yeah, we can't find anything there. We'll just we'll look for a top 15 pick and we'll try to trade uh, one of the people we have for it. Can we do this? No? We'll throw in another second round pick. Is this not what you want, Denver? There we go. So now that we have Denver's 14th pick, we traded our 20th pick and Lance Thomas and a bunch of second rounds. Uh, to free that up and climb the draft. We're going to be looking to see if we're able to draft a nice role player. We're not looking for a superstar. But Miles Bridges almost fell to the 14th. That would have been amazing for us. But instead... So with the 14th pick in the draft, we were able to drop the Robert Williams. A nice backup to Porzingis. Uh, he's a power forward. So yeah, he's, he's not going to be a starter. Maybe if we slide him over to the center. But as of right now, our starting position is kind of stacked. Now that we're out of the draft, let's see if anybody wants Joakim Noah. And there we go. <laughs> we could salary dump him to let's 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 salary dump him back to Chicago. They give us a first round pick, and uh, maybe maybe he'll be nice over there. So I'm looking through all of these other trades before I do, but I think Chicago got us the best one with the draft pick. So uh, yeah, he could he could go back to where he, it all started for him. So. Joe Kim Noah is now back with the Bulls, and we have their draft pick for the 21st uh, overall draft that we probably won't use. So for the third trade I'm going to be pulling off here is Courtney Lee. We're going to be salary dumping him for the Phoenix Suns 20th first round pick. So let's go ahead and do that. Ron Baker is going to take one for the team as well. And now this is what our roster is looking like after the draft before going into free agency. Uh, Kylo Quinn accepted a qualifying offer. 
And hopefully we can re-sign Ennis Cancer. That's not really a priority considering we have two high uh, centers. And uh, we need a small forward in free agency. So we're going to try to make a big splash and try to win a championship this season. We weren't even supposed to make playoffs the first season, but we did without Carmelo Anthony. In 2K, Paul George's rating is a whole lot higher than Melo's. So we're going to see if we can sign Paul George. We still have the rights to Michael Beasley and Ennis Cantor. So uh, if Paul George ends up coming to the Knicks, I think we have a solid shot of winning a championship this season. Can we re-sign Melo? Uh, we can. I don't know if I, 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 don't, I don't know if I want Melo back. So here we are, after the major signing of Paul George, we are finally in the second season. We're going to take a look at the roster because I, I forgot to show you then. We have Nilakina. I was just, just mentioning the players we signed. We signed Tyler Ennis. We signed RJ Hunter because his overall goes up insanely. He's one of the few cheese characters. I know RJ Hunter is a cheese character in my GM, and my league. Uh, Diamond Stone, Jarnell Stokes, for some odd reason, their overall just shoots up once they get playing time. So he's a 67. By the end of the season, he'll probably be like a 76 or something along those lines. Uh, yeah, we, we kept a good majority of last year's core together. We kept Ennis Cancer for one year. He has a team option as well just to see how well he performs. So our bigs, we signed Harry Giles, Paul George, RJ Hunter, Tyler Ennis. Those are the four players we were able to add in free agency. And we're going to adjust the coaching settings here. So here we are at trade deadline. I believe last year we had 32 wins at trade deadline. This year we have 31. We're still around the same spot like we were last year, but we do have Paul George. Hopefully he'll be a different maker uh, comes playoff time. We're going to see what players doing what for us. Ooh, Paul George. Ooh, we have we have some injuries here. Paul George averaging 27. Uh, Perzingis is hurt for one or two weeks. Hernan Gomez is out with a broken nose, and this time we don't have nearly as much players averaging double digits but not exactly the position i thought we would be in i thought we'd be a little bit higher considering last year we were uh we were this high without any talent and now this year it's weird that we're almost in the exact same spot so uh who's not doing much for this team so we see this trade for kemba walker we trade frank nilakina and kemba walker rather Kylo Quinn for Kemba Walker. I'm trying to win now, like I just said. If we do this trade, we'll be a man short on our 14-man roster, so we'll probably have to trade away another player. Uh, this is kind of a a risky move, considering Kemba Walker is only a one-year, and Nathan Keen is on his rookie contract, but Kemba's averaging 23 points. Uh, we need we need another scorer next to Paul George. I feel like Kemba is that perfect solution. So we're going to pull off this trade. Uh, it says that the Knicks are now undermanned on the rotation. I don't think we're done yet. We're going to see if we can upgrade the backup point guard position. And then to top that Kemba Walker trade off, we're going to be trading away our backup point guards in Tyler Ennis, Randall, and Kuzminkis for Jordan Bell, solid player, and Yogi Ferrell, solid 2K player as well. So... These are the two trades we're going to be doing in the second season. And with that, I think we are done. I think we do have to sign one player just to fill out the 14-man roster. Uh, have CPU build that. How many players do we have? We have 12. So we need to sign two more players in free agency. Diamond Stone is. We'll sign him to the two-year minimum. Hopefully, he becomes an 80 like he normally does. Have CPU adjust that. Uh, what, do, what is our team looking like now? Three bigs again. Three centers again, four four power forwards. We could use a backup, a third string point guard, maybe free agents or a shooting guard. Ramon Sessions is here. He had a solid year with this last season, so uh, might as might as well sign him to a minimum contract. So here we are, a game before playoffs. The Kemba Walker trade did wonders for our team. We now have 49 wins. We're the second seed in the Eastern Conference. We're going to simulate that game. We win that as well. Uh, any of our players up here? Nope. Any of our players in the All-NBA first team, are we doing this without an All-Star? Even Paul George. Paul George is All-NBA third team. That's kind of crazy. Who we're going up against? We're going up against the Boston Celtics. So let's simulate game by game here. We win the first one and the second and the third. Uh, Hernan Gomez with the 
uh, injury. Have CPU adjust that. Now we're going against the Philadelphia 76ers. We managed to sweep a Boston Celtics teams with Kyrie Irving. That's crazy. Now moving on to the second round. Hernan Gomez is hurt. Hopefully that doesn't affect this too much. The Sixers won the first game. But, okay, he's back. They're not able to compete. And now we're going up against the Cavs. This is getting interesting. And hopefully we're able to beat the Cavs team and win a championship this season. Uh-oh, we're coming back. We're coming back. We came back. 3-0. Were they not? Am I seeing things? Were they not up 3-0? So simulate game by game. We won the first two, three. Please don't choke. Okay. Congratulations. The New York Knicks have won the championship. That's the goal. Hopefully we're able to re-sign Kemba Walker. We had a solid squad in the second season. Kemba, Tim Hardaway, Paul George, Przingis, and Hernan Gomez. That starting five is crazy. Especially if Hardaway in real life can elevate his game. That starting five would win a championship. Honestly. Well, maybe once LeBron leaves the Cavs. So we have the 30th pick in this year's draft. Dedrick Ireland, 67 overall. Uh, really, I can't. I don't want to trade anybody to get a draft pick that's in the top 15. So if we could just trade away this draft pick, this will be the, I believe, the sixth trade. Because I, I like this roster. I really do. Diamond Stone. See, Diamond Stone and Hunter, RJ Hunter, are cheese my league players. Their overall jumps like crazy. I guess because they're G League players. And if you sign a G League player, you get like an achievement because their overall boost up. Or at least I remember I got an achievement when I signed a G League player. And it's like diamond in the rough or something like that. But we're going to try to trade away the 30th pick, Courtney Lee. No, thank you. Mitchell Robinson. Uh, 71 overall. That's probably the best we're going to do, so... I'll be more than happy to do this trade. Another big. So here we are at the player progression. We were able to sign Kemba Walker and we were also able to sign Ennis Cantor. Now I don't know how well this is going to work out considering we have a ton of bigs. We have Jerry and Grant. We were able to sign him. He's back with the Knicks. And he's really the only new player besides the trade we did for uh, Mitchell Robinson. So we're stacked on bigs. But it worked out for us last season. Hopefully it works out for us this season. If it doesn't, we could always trade Ennis Cantor. Uh, serviceable big, but with guys like Hernan Gomez and Diamond Stone, who are amazing 2K uh, sim players. I think that we're in a good position to try to repeat. We have four power forwards, four centers. Yeah, uh, it might it might not work as good as it did last season. But like I said, if we don't, if it doesn't, we could always trade Cantor or one of these other said players. So... Uh, let's go to training camp and let's, uh, let's start the third season. Here we are at the end of the third season. Uh, all the awards. Ooh, we actually got most improved player in Jordan Bell. Improved by four points per game. Almost four rebounds per game. As that's uh, questionable. We got the coach of the year award. So we finally got awards. We got the respect we deserve. And we also got the first seed going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are the eighth seed. I doubt they have LeBron James. Uh, Hernan Gomez is out with injury. And Kemba Walker is out with injury, both for like one or two weeks. So uh, hopefully the Cavs aren't too much of a problem. They have LeBron. Okay. How are they the eighth seed with LeBron James? We're going to simulate game by game here against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oops, what did I just do? I did something. Uh, I must have left leave rotation as is. We managed to get past the Cavs. And let's see if we get past the Pacers. Two games. CPU adjust that. CPU adjust that. And we win. Going up against the Orlando Magic, who seventh seed, making it to the Western Conference Finals. It's interesting. Simulate like game by game. Uh, I keep skipping that. I don't know what it says. Broken nose. Leave rotation as is. We need Porzingis. Uh, wait, what? Broken nose season. It's a new injury. How? Leave rotation as is. I don't. I don't know. 
Uh, a lot of them can just play it through it. Now we're going to find our opponent. I think the Houston Rockets. Did we not beat them last season? What is it? League history? Yeah, we beat the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets have made back-to-back -back playoffs three years in a row. About to lose three years in a row, too. So I'll simulate game by game here. They win the first one. We win the second. Ooh, they win the third. There we go. And we win in six. Paul George, MVP. Melo moved to OKC, but George moved to the Knicks. Managed to win two easy ones. The Knicks rebuild was a lot easier than I expected in 2K. Maybe I need to try, if you guys like it, I need to try a mediocre team like the Memphis Grizzlies who just seem to be going nowhere, you know. That roster of the Memphis Grizzlies, I might have to do a Memphis Grizzlies one if you guys like this because these these trash teams, super easy to do considering they have like one or two bad contracts and then a bunch of young players. And I like what the Knicks did by trading away Carmelo Anthony. I like the trade. It's a solid rebuild process for the Knicks and hopefully it doesn't last long as we proved here, I doubt it's just going to be next year, but anything can happen. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.